now let's again type the command mysql and i'll show you what database it is currently showing us I need to enter the semicolon. So currently I'm not able to see any of my databases since I'm not logged in using the root user. So I'll just exit and now I'll log in to my SQL using the root user. It will ask for password which is blank. So now if I type show databases is going to show me all the databases that are currently installed and I can simply use any of one database and now if I type show tables so since there are no tables I am not able to see any of it you can also create a new database And now I will be using this particular database. So let's start by creating a table. So we'll enter the query create table states. We'll have two to three columns in this. This is going to be our primary key. and set an auto increment to it then we will have a state column which will store characters of limit 50 and let's have one more column called population with int and limit 9 so let's run the query so now we see we have one table states now let's start by inserting some data in this so let's enter insert into states state and population values will be suppose Maharashtra let's enter integers so now we have successfully inserted one entry into our table let's run read query and select star from tables Oops, I have not entered the name of the table, sorry. So as you can see, we have successfully inserted one data, one record into our table. So similarly, you can carry out all the other crude operations, create, read, update and delete records. Let's go and enter one more record so that we can see our auto increment is working properly or not. So we'll insert into states. Let's add Rajasthan and any amount. Oops, sorry for missing out the name of the columns. So as you can see, you must have probably inserted a new record. Here we go. You can see all both of these records being inserted in our table states. So similarly, you can also carry out drop table, drop database, 
then truncate your table and all the similar queries which you usually do in your PHP MyAdmin. So this was it guys. Uh, I hope that you have learned something new from this video.